Right guys, welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege lore video. We just got the next major part of the lore revealed to us via an anime trailer, so I'm going to let this play out and then we're going to break it down. Of course, if you haven't seen my entire lore video, definitely go check that out before you see this. Major spoilers ahead. Let's get into this. Was hit hard. Here live. Server room, identify perimeter breach. Over. Withdraw your men. Say again, Grim. I'm going in. My turn. Micro recon drones. Cute. You forgot this. The data key on your jugular. You were saying? What was on that server? QCR shipment records. Question is, who wants eyes on it? And why? So at the start of this, we can see both Grim and actually Smoke in his new Battle Pass uniform. They're actually checking on the Night Haven Guard, who's actually knocked out by both Nook and Sench during the Vector Guard comic book, and they do confirm that this soldier is still alive. We also get another look at the Night Haven base, which is going to be the Season 4 map. Next, we actually see the server room of Night Haven's base, and we can see that there are more guards knocked out, and Grim seems to notice that some data on a computer has been accessed. Before he has time to do anything though, Nook actually manages to take him by surprise and actually stabs him in the leg. Grim, of course, gets to showcase his brand new gadget coming next season and Nook manages to get away but is also chased by the gadget. Grim actually manages to track Nook once again with his gadget and actually manages to reveal a part of her face which we have never seen before. Grim actually gets the upper hand and threatens Nook to give over the data key or he'll take her head. However, Nook being the skilled soldier that she is actually detonates some charges behind him and manages to escape. And Nook and the data key are actually picked up on a boat by none other than the legendary Sam Fisher who now seems to be having more of a hands-on role in Team Rainbow. Grim confirms that it is QC are records which Nook has stolen and this will give evidence that Nighthaven are linked to the death of Yahata but by the sounds of it Grimm doesn't know who actually done this yet so maybe they do not know that Rainbow is involved yet and by this time Nighthaven probably don't even know who Azami actually is so there is a likelihood that Nighthaven are completely oblivious that Rainbow actually has some dirt on them so as far as they are aware they assassinated Yahata but they do not know that Rainbow is actually involved in trying to find justice for that. Now other things to take from this trailer is that Smoke is quite prominent in it and he's over the comms as well. Still no info on what what Ella is doing, maybe we'll find out more when the comic book for this comes out. There is a lot of speculation for those who are involved in the lore in this game that Ella might actually be a double agent for Rainbow and is actually part of Nighthaven, giving intel to Team Rainbow. Maybe that's how Nook knew where to find the shipment records. So yeah, really excited to see where this is going to go next. Of course, if you want to keep up with lore videos and subscribe to this channel, I will be keeping up with the lore and informing you guys on everything new that comes. Really do hope we see more of Sam Fisher though. <laughs> anyway guys, have an incredible rest of your day. I'll catch you all later. Peace.